You might think you know Storm, but here are 12 facts you may not know about the X-Men's weather goddess. Storm first appeared in 1975's giant-sized X-Men number 1, in a story by Len Wein and Dave Cockrum. This issue reintroduced the X-Men with an all-new team after the title had been running reprints for a while due to low sales. Soon, the X-Men would be the best-selling comic book in America. Storm was created by combining two characters that Dave Cockrum had created, Typhoon, a man with weather powers, and Black Cat, a woman who could change into a cat. Due to other cat-like characters debuting at the same time, like Tigra, the two characters were combined, and with the addition of a cape from a potential Jean Grey redesign, Storm was born. Historically, Storm was the first black female superhero to debut in a mainstream comic. She was preceded by such black male characters as Black Panther, Falcon, and Green Lantern Jon Stewart. But the next black female superhero would be DC's Bumblebee, who showed up over a year later. Storm's real name is Aurora Monroe, and she is the daughter of Endara, the princess of a Kenyan tribe of sorceress priestesses, who traditionally have white hair and blue eyes. Her father is an American photojournalist named David Monroe, who married Endara and took her home to Harlem, where Aurora was born. Soon, however, they moved to Egypt, where Aurora's parents died in an aircraft attack. This attack not only left Aurora orphaned, she was also buried under tons of debris, which led to her lifelong claustrophobia, perhaps her best-known weakness. Perhaps Storm's most striking visual characteristic is her white hair. At first, editors objected to this element of her design, thinking that it would make her look like an old woman. Artist Dave Cockrum assured them that this would never be a problem, as he could draw her with a consistently youthful appearance. Speaking of Storm's hair, one of her best-loved looks is the mohawk she first sported in 1983. It turns out that this hairstyle started out as a joke by artist Paul Smith. However, the editors agreed that fans would be upset no matter how they changed Storm's hair, so they decided to go extreme with it. The look has been a fan favorite and has even made a resurgence in recent years. Over the years, Storm's most frequent love has been mutant inventor Forge. Although she recently had a relationship with Wolverine, she had a brief romantic moment with Archon the Annihilator, and depending on who you ask, a serious thing with female ninja Yukio. In alternate universes, she can be found dating Thor and Cyclops. Oh, I forgot, she was also married to Black Panther for a while. Her wedding dress was designed by the costume designer for Guiding Light. However, Black Panther later had their marriage annulled when Storm's then-teammate Namor destroys his home country of Wakanda. While Storm and Black Panther were together, however, they temporarily took the place of Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman on the Fantastic Four. Other non-X-Men teams Storm has been on include the Avengers, A-Force, and the Lady Liberators. One man whose love and obsession for Storm has been unrequited is Dracula, Lord of the Vampires. Drac tries to make Storm his vampire queen not once, but twice, and in the alternate universe world of Mutant X, he succeeds in turning her into a vampire, but she maintains her oath against killing as the vampiric hero Bloodstorm. Storm's most notorious line from the first X-Men movie is the much-derided, toad-struck-by-lightning one-liner. This is one of only a few lines that made it to the final film contributed by script doctor Joss Whedon, who defends the line, saying it just wasn't delivered as intended. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Comics. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Comics Alliance for more comic facts, and check out ComicsAlliance.com for more comic awesomeness.